The quiet village of Lemonal in the Belize River Valley was the scene of a double stabbing on Saturday evening. Two elderly brothers, Tony and Russell Anthony, came under attack in front of Tony's residence and it was at the hands of his own grandson. Tony told News 5 that he got stabbed for trying to prevent his grandson from returning to a scene where he was involved in a fight just minutes earlier. Saturday evening, the guys made a gawali, you know, get together, gawali, drink, and, you know, buy a couple of beers after a cricket game because they come in third and they decide that they will have gawali drinking and eating for the players there. And um, things just happen. Um, you know, my grandson, he, he, he's staying at little little um, apartment there. Uh -huh. And um, I see a gun out of the road. And when he get out there, I see a hustling happening. Fight? Well, kind of a fighting, yes. And he run back in here. Yeah? And I, um, I, made a, I made a talk to her and tell her I will not go back out there. You know, and I insist that you know go because the thing will get worse. So, um, well, I, I I don't know if she he may feel like I he know why I stop here. Okay. So he just pull jump, up. jump. Yes. He already had a knife. Well, I never see a pull out no knife. I he just joke me. Assistant Commissioner of Police Hilberta Romero told the media that the police have detained the suspect. For the incident. On Saturday, 90th day of August, police responded to Lemonal Village where, upon their arrival, they saw uh, Dwayne Anthony and Russell Anthony with stab wound injuries. Uh, they were taken to the KHMH. Both have since been released from the KHMH and are back at home. Uh, we have one suspect in custody and we expect to charge him sometime this afternoon. Is alcohol involved? No, uh, there was a fight and then uh, this person inflicted a stab injury to the two male persons. Luckily for the Anthony brothers, the wounds they suffered were not life-threatening and they will make full recoveries. For now, however, Tony Anthony told us that he remains in pain. I can't move how I want, I can't okay. sleep how I want. I just have to sleep only on my back, you know. But have the doctors told you that you're going to recover fully? Or? Right. Okay. They, 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 they discharged me and, you know, everything I've gone through, a lot of tests before I come out. So they're sure that, yeah, all right. Anthony also told us that his grandson is short-tempered. While he says he does not want to press criminal charges against him, he will have to move off his property and stay away. I know I know, who know further because, you know, the family, and you know, you, you know, really, it matter my daughter, okay. the granny, and my wife. So I know I'm there in a court, I know I'm there. Okay. You know, I'm there. So he granny. has to move? Well, he has to move, he has to go to mother, he has a mother. Okay. You know, that's all. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.